Okay, today's lesson is about the volume of a sphere. So we've been looking at cylinders and cones, and now we're gonna look at spheres. So we wanna think about uh, a cylinder or a cone or a sphere that have the same height. So that's what we're comparing. We're gonna be looking at these uh, objects. So if you wanna look in your big textbook, this is page 413, and we're gonna be looking at uh, the volume of a sphere, which is basically just a ball. All right, so the radius of a sphere, the distance from the center point is the same no matter where you look. So if we have a sphere and it's the same height as a cone, right? So we wanna make the a sphere is as tall as two radiuses. So we're gonna make a cone with a height and it is gonna be twice as tall as the radius. A cone, twice as tall, right? So the height is basically two radiuses stacked up, right? So those are the heights. So the heights are the same. And now our radiuses are the same. So how can we look at those different volume formulas that we've been looking at? So, right, the volume, which is base times height, we're going to use base, which is the area of a circle, pi r squared. So in all the formulas, that's kind of our base that we're starting with. In the cylinder, it's just pi r squared times the height. A cone, we found out, was one-third of that volume. Well, a sphere turns out to be two-thirds of that volume, except... In a sphere, the height is not necessarily h. We know that the height is two radiuses always, right? So it's as tall as two radiuses. And so we can put that um, in place of h, but we need to multiply the two thirds times the two, right? So we multiply two over one, that gives us four thirds. So that's gonna go in this box here. And then of course, right, we, already, we have that radius from the two radius, so radius squared times one more radius is radius cubed. So the volume of a sphere is 4 thirds times pi times radius cubed.